Okay, now, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much uh, for your time to attend today. Uh, shop to go, dynamo and post up briefing sessions. Before I start, to invite Fats, our trainer today, to to share with you how to do the setting for whole solutions. May I know that? Do you know what is shop to go? Basically, shop to go is our new product just launched from last year September onwards. So, what the purpose of shop to go? Actually, Shop to Go in Smart is a new product whereby he more focused for those uh, target customer in more on the frozen food hypermarket, this kind of industry, right? Because this kind of merchant they are looking for those services like express delivery or self pickup. Okay, before I go to that, I need to know all of you my facing especially on the pandemic nineteen, no? so a lot of people try to do the business uh, do online. Because offline shop, some of the business cannot do, but some still running like pharmacy, because yes, they can do it, can do that. But in terms of business anger, do online business is a must, uh, basically it's a must. So only thing, what kind of, of the online business is best to the merchants? So at the last year until today, there are a lot of people, merchants try to implement the software Go to the online business, like go to the site giant package to do the standard e-commerce, or they go to the marketplace to sell the item to market based um, store there. It's okay. Both sides also can do that. Now, in terms of the really make sure your product so and more efficient to your members. So smart today we made the shop to go package, whereby we bring the online market to another layer. Means that Besides to the back-end delivery the services, we can do the self pickup solution. This is called click and connect concept. The other we call it express delivery. So we do new concept come to the pictures. So your merchant sales can emphasize to more on to localized e-commerce. Maybe this solution majority is served for the local community. Mean to say you open a shop in this taman, when you implement the shop to go. We help you conquer your local market. Let's say five cam all the customer, they can easy to find you. They can do the online purchasing. Then can expect your expect delivery from a shop to the house. This is a major concept of shop to go implement. Furthermore, to how to make sure your customer can always go back to the shop to repeat sales. The another angle is very important is the members. Your shop to go concept. The another strong the strength is our member is available for to do the online purchase and go to offline to pay at the same time gain the point in online offline also can meaning to say our membership program is all to all they mean online to offline is sync together the member which enjoy benefit with the online purchase or offline purchase and they can utilize the point and gain the point and utilize the point in the online payment also available so today you need to know what is called shop to go. So far we'll share with you regarding the concept. Today there are a few uh, topics to cover. There is a uh, four topic. The shop to go set up and post set up. Then they share with you uh, how is the dynamo set up and they got API set up. Uh, because this shop to go, they need some of the API in the dynamo and the post. After that, you need to share up the location for individual uh, outlet. Furthermore, you go to the upload the pictures from our data mode to the shop to go. So we have a special uh, way to handle the product image. It's really easy and save the time to do if compared to other uh, websites. This is our another beautiful part you can learn from these sections. After that, you can go to the post. Post we can cover detail FMB. So our shop logo can cover both solution. Then furthermore, you have a buy apps and delivery apps. We buy you covered by the the lock merchant can do this. Lastly, we have a online store backend. So this is the today section to share during this section. Okay. But I think no further delays. Please uh please share some of your info. Let them understand what's they what's they going about. Thanks, Simon, for the explanation. So now I will start to uh, 
to talk about the implementation part. Okay, for the just now Simon in, uh, explanation, so actually shop to go is a online uh, our online actually is the online web store la. Then can send the sales to the uh, post to get the sales. Okay. So today the agenda we will cover the four main topic about the dynamo, how to set up the shop to go, touch post, touch fmb, how to set up, and then we'll briefly we'll, we'll, we'll talk about some of the apps uh, and the website also. Okay, so first we will start for the dynamo integration part of, uh, with the shop to go. Okay, first. Actually, uh, our shop to go set up store set up actually is an online store. You can click on, on the online store there. You click the shop to go. And then uh, here you can see the shop to go store. Okay, for here, you can see the shop to go store set up, how to set up here. So uh, at the slide here, I got briefly to talk about how to, what to, Take note lah, when you do the setup. Okay, active actually is the, if the store, if let's say the store, you, you're running the business, then you have to take an active part. If let's say the store, if in future no longer exists, or maybe the you want to, uh, you the shop is not around for the online store already, maybe you can, you have to um, take this one active to, to uncheck the chat box. Okay. So the store ID actually is for online store, but once store ID you create unable to amend up like the our uh, stock store there the above the store the above the store ID uh, we cannot to amend one uh, but you have to take note uh, once you set up cannot change one and then the store description actually you you have to put your online uh, shop to go online store name uh, easier for you to check and then the store API URL actually is the shop to go web store URL that you have to put the API and rest behind, but you have to take note you don't insert the HTTP behind you put the S there. Cause you, you put the S, you will fail to get the token. Okay. For the store API key system will provide third party default. That's mean when you create, you add the new store setup. The store API key actually will default to put in already. So you just not you no need to change anything. You just remain the API key. And then the access token, uh, once uh, once you get once you click the get access token, then system will auto generate the token for you. So this one you just have to fill in the store API URL here. Actually, the store API URL is the your web store URL. Lah. Just have to be high put API and rush like this. Okay, next for this part, you have to take note. If let's say you got do the you have used our shipping uh delivery apps, then you have to put the shipping uh store ID. And then the price option. The price option actually is the if let's say you want to sync dynamo price to your shop to go online shop so you, you can select either your price one price two price three or price four or price five to sync the price to the online store that means if let's say your your product is uh, you want to use a price three to sync to the online store then to price option you have to set price three up then uh, system will if let's say you've got any try, price change or price three then it will sync to the online store then Okay, so here you have to enable the shop to go delivery apps process. If let's say uh, you, if the merchant got used our shop to go own delivery app, then you have to take the checkbox here that uh, you will, you will, if let's say uh, once got any delivery, uh, you have to use the apps, it will sync the data to the delivery apps there. And then uh, for here, have to enable the upload new price product process manager. That means if let's say you check here, you take here, you will, if it uh, got any uh, new price or 
um, Dynamo the stock maintenance there got any update, they will sync to the online store as well. But if let's say you got take this enable upload new price from the process manager, have to set at the process manager as well. Like. This one later I will show for more detail about the process manager setting there. Okay. Next part is enable upload the product quantity in process manager. This one is a this one is a if let's say you got text this one, the product, if let's say uh you will export the product balance, available balance to the Excel, then you will sync to the online store as well. That means if let's say the, uh your product or any balance updated already, then you will uh, export the Excel to them. So where is the where they get the path you will depend on this one setting because product quantity file path. But the file name pattern, this one just remain. You don't need to change anything. This one just remain the default one. So uh, this also will later I will talk about the queue at the high slide then how to set up this one. Okay. Okay, once set up just now already done, here you have to select your location, which one have to set on the uh, with the location with to uh to install the post for the shop to go web store. That means if let's say uh the this one online store you got three outlet you involve, so you have to set three location for so mean uh if let's say you got three shop, then you have to select three location for here. So system will track the three post uh, to do the shop to go with, uh, integration. But if let's say that mean, uh, if let's say you got select three, three location here, if, uh, if the online store that is the order, it will depend the customer near uh, which store, then they will send the order to the post. Okay, for that, I have to take note, this one, the mobile number, uh, latitude and longitude, and then the post API URL, and then this one is a set in card renewal transaction. This, this field, you have to take note, because uh, this one you have to uh, manually to insert when you uh, implement this one store. Okay, the mobile number actually is the contact number for the location person in charge, that means, if let's say the customer order already at the web store, if they say uh, if they want to contact the outlet person in charge, if let's say they order any uh, one to amend, so they call the this mobile number. And then the latitude and longitude is the shop location GPS coordinate. This one uh, we able to search it from the Google Map. Right? And then the post API URL. The post API URL actually is the post web API hostname and port. This one uh, you can get from the API, uh, our post uh, web API there to get this one uh, hostname and port. And then this one, the last one, if let's say they got do the online renewal in card, that's me, once the the user, the customer, they, uh, to, uh, they get the, if they say they want to register already at the web store, web store there, then they want to add the, the merchant member for the in card, then the sales, they will sync to the post. If let's say they got three outlets just now involved. So here you have to select, if let's say the if let's say they get the renewal fee, you will sync to which post. So here you have to take note. If let's say the uh, got one of the store they want to sync the sales for this one renewal, then you have to take off. And then others will be the location description uh, address one two three four. You retrieve from the dynamic location setting. That means uh, it will 
but you still can able to amend on the screen. Now, if let's say once there's set up or on the dynamic location setting ID, but if let's say the address they want to amend here still can amend. Okay. After done just now all the setting, you set the setting idea. So you have to upload the location to online store. So you have to click the more here and then upload the location to online store. So if let's say the store already uploaded to the web store, you will auto check the is uploaded to the checkbox here. Uh, but in future, if let's say the store uh, no longer exists, maybe they want to close the shop, open another shop there. So the location, maybe they want, maybe the post also move to the new shop. So this one, they don't want to show any, then you can make it. Or temporarily, they got, if let's say just now, I said got three shops. Uh, so maybe one of the shop they want, don't want to active first to the one to show at the online store. Here you also can untick the checkbox to you can say the one to show the shop and the So here actually we can uh set up by here, but after this now you if you say if any got changes from here, you have to click again on upload location to one so If let's say here you have got any setting change from this one location there. You have to upload again to online store there. Okay, so on just now the store setup, what you should to take note when to do the shop to go store setup. So later I will by step by step to show what have to take note. Okay, thanks, uh, Fat. Okay, basically this section I think all of you understand how to do the setup. So the few thing, we new thing for you is like the location GPS is it the same new thing in this new setup. So basically why we need to do that? So when you do the store setup, why you need to find the location, the longitude and latitude to insert to the individual branch? What the purpose behind? Just share with you, when you do that, it means when using this solution, system auto help you to do the auto sync your order to the related branch, whereby the branch will near to the your member address. This auto may save your member, uh, so they help you save your merchant manpower cost. If not, normally you need to sync by your own, you need the time to, uh, each order come down, you need to distribute to each outlet to distribution the goods. I think this really messes and not efficient. By using this new solution, the merchant save a lot of manpower to do this synchronized order to outlet or to when you do the calculation of the we call the shipping fees for the bucketed orders when you have this cuffs uh gps located the information the system auto calculate the best rate for the this order for the particular member so these a lot of things can save time to give your customer more happy because you calculate the best break for them to charge the shipping fees. Am I right? So this is why very, very important this thing to set up. And, so, and another factor you need to know, when we main shop to go, the sales will divert the order to the all the branches in the other hand mean to say is because all, all the merchant they were worry about the outer sales, am I right? Then the other major also worry about when HQ, the implement the online web store, they worry the sales all will divert to the HQ. They will, in the other hand, will affect the local branch sales. But in the shop to go implemented, this worry is no need to worry about it because all the sales will go to particular outlets. So it means that your, your boss is happy, your branch manager also happy. So this is something share with you how to make sure when you implement this kind of solution for the one of the merchant, how to make sure all the sales in the in the either is the HQ or outlet, they share even of the sales. And for bosses, they will more have a more analysis to know all the online store, basically which outlet perform well. Is it of localized sales or online sales? So this is some analysis. Let the person have an idea to judgment. The online sales is worth for invest for which location or which 
local localized the uh, offline sales or by this our back end you have a and uh, we call the centralized information and the person having a further decisions so this is another benefit when you do this shop to go all right uh Fat, please furthermore okay so the first have to take note is the store api url as just now i mentioned if let's say you're behind you put the s then you cannot get the access token now. so this is the different so you can put s and no s behind so this one when you do the setting have to take note lah. okay second take note is to enable the shop to go delivery apps process for post if let's say you got check the enable shop to go delivery apps at the dynamo there you will sync to the post you will auto check that it's enable the shop to go delivery apps process so this is the our shop to go delivery app. If let's say the merchant don't have applied this, so actually here you have no need to enable. So this one just enable for the who got applied uh, our this shop to go delivery app. So this is a merchant own delivery apps. If let's say uh, they have their own delivery teams. So as just now mentioned, the stock ID here also will sync to the post for the shipping information. Take note three is to enable the these two process major setting. So if let's say you got do check on these two setting, your process major have to do the setting for these two as well. If let's say here you got take here you know set, so it will not no function here. Cause this one is to prevent. If, if let's say you got two online web store, so maybe one of the online web store they want to do this one process major setting and they can control it. That's why here you have to depend. If let's say you got set this, you have to set this as well. If not, you you if you got set the process major these two setting, but here you know set, so this also no function now. So this one have to take note. Because you have to set to regions, not set either one. Okay, the next view how to get the latitude and longitude. This one actually, uh, for my side to test, actually, uh, we can get on the Google Map there. You can select your location, you can see uh, the rep, your, your location there, you can right click on the location there, you can get the GPS. Longitude and latitude there. So this one you can insert to here if once you get it. Okay. The post your API URL actually can get from the API socket. Lah. But here the socket there, the web API URL, actually you have to take the, uh, this one, you have to set the port forwarding for the post there. Uh, if let's say the web API there, you don't have to put the host name for the, the post there. Actually, this one is no function. Uh. That's why I have to take note when you got set this one, then you just copy to here the post API. So this is the setting have, have to send to them. Okay. The next we will more on the shop to go product setup. Actually, the product setup from shop for shop to go, we've got the shop to go categories and the products. But the categories mostly we will download from the online store. This is the online store category. Actually, this one have to set up at the online store. Uh, portal there, admin portal there. Then once you get, once you set already, you will download, just download, you click, you go to the online store, shop to go and the shop to go store just now there. You click more, you can get the download category from online store. Once you download at there, you can see all your get, uh, online store category will be here. So how to set actually, you can go to admin portal there, you click the catalog at the left hand side there, then you get the category here, then you insert. 
once you insert there all the category from here, you will download to the uh, just now the dynamo store uh, this one category there. So have to take note this one. Okay, for the shop to go product setup, after we add the product at the stock maintenance there, dynamic stock maintenance there, here you have to select the add selected available product or add all available product. So here, actually here is the online store, shop to go and shop to go product screen. You will see this screen like this. Actually, if let's say you are the new implement here, here actually you just can see the category, but here maybe not yet for the item. So you have to go to next here. You have to click the add selected available product to generate the product listing from stock maintenance item there. So you can uh, select which one you want, or you can add all available product from the stock maintenance there. If let's say you select the first one, add selected available products, you have to you can filter which product you want to set to the online store. Okay, the second one, as just as I said, you will add all the but have to take note this one, if let's say you set all the set product to here, but still not yet assigned which one to sync to the or upload to the online store. Here just let you know which product already uh, available to here or here. Okay, so for assigned category to select a product actually. Here is the select of your product from system to assign the uh, to assign the category for the online store on online store shop to go. So after you assign, they will show on the online store category there. We show how to here. I will show how to assign the category to select the products. Wait, wait. Okay, so you double click on your this one and assign product here. Then you select the product, you just highlight them, and then you select the category which you want to assign for these two products. Okay, then you press more, you click on the assign category to product so once you click this one you will prompt this message for you is it you want to assign the category under this one testing category if confirmed then you click yes so here you can see this testing here is zero so these two items want to assign to under this one category testing category it will show if let's say conf, uh, if if uh, uh, for a side ID, it will show if two item is under testing category. Then you double click on this one testing category here. You will see these two product is under the this new category ID. Okay. After you after you assign but these two items still not yet exist on the on uh, the shop to go web store there. That means if let's say you confirm these two items you want to sync to the or upload to the online store, you have to click this part more, upload the selected product to online store. So you just highlight these two items. So here I will show how to upload the product to online store here. So as just I mentioned, you double click on the testing category uh, here, and then you highlight these two items, you click more, and then upload the selected product to online store. So once you click, you will prompt the message like this one, you just click yes. Okay. 
once uploaded to the online store, it will show if uploaded the check, uh, here we auto to check, auto to check this two item already uploaded to the online store. So if the first set is two already uploaded, then you can go to the online store there to see this two product is uploaded. So you can see these two products actually on your online store there. Okay, so this is the, just now what I show you how to do assign the product. This is the result. Cause this one just now is under the baby, baby accessory and then thing. So you can go to here, see again the category, picture is baby, baby accessory and then testing. So you can see this category here, you can get these two items. So this is the how you successful to get the uploaded product. If let's say confirm just now the setting you do correct, here you will get the result like this. But the image later, I will show how to set on your admin portal there. Okay, the next one is the how to set a new price product. Okay, system actually will do the checking and compare which product online price not equal to the current stock price. That means here in place the use function system will compare the online price and the dynamo stock price. If let's say the stock price option just now you select is the price one here will show the price one, but the you just ignore the header la cost. If let's say later you select is the price two, actually the column also will show price one, but the price actually is the price two, not the price one. Now. So here you can compare. System will show you uh, this one is not equal to the price is not equal. So if let's say you confirm uh this the later price you uh you want to update, so here you can select the next one update and upload selected product to online store. So for here, so you can see the price actually from Dynamo is 28.90, but online price still remain 27.99 cents. So here, if let's say you, you update this one, you will see, okay. So here I will brief a bit the step. So you highlight these two items, and then you click more. And then here you can see the this one, new price product, and then update and upload here. Once you click, also from the message, you say want to upload the product price. Then you confirm, you click yes. Here you can see the changes. Just now, actually it's a 27 99 cent for the online price. And then uh, for this one, it's 15 ringgit 99 cent like that one. So once you up, upload just now the setting you will change the price for the online product so this is how you update okay so the next we will be more on the scenario example for shop to go product setup actually this is the uh, what i facing Actually, it's the scenario what I'm facing when I do the implementation for, for one of the customer. Lah. And then, uh, so this one later, uh, I will do some of the sharing for about the scenario, how we, how, how my site, uh, actually customer uh, will ask one. So, uh, Simon, there you want to add on some? Okay, thank you, Fat. Basically, just all Fat sharing the setting uh, for the stop in the, our back end, you see uh, everything we control in our Dynamo, am I right? So basically, we all emphasize is the, our last time, the post solution, post management solution, like in the this kind of shop, shop to go, so same thing. We apply all the cent centralized management in our back end. So that easy for your staff to manage all the things in back end only. So the Don Fight will tell you some uh, scenario where you're facing the manage the portal, how to uh, overcome it. So far, just share your experience, how you implement for a few cases uh, last time. 
this is the scenario. What I do, just do some of the sharing for you. Okay. So the scenario one is uh, update and upload selected product to online store. Uh, able to auto update uh, by Dynamo Process Manager. So if let's say just now when we do the store setup, so if let's say just now you got take this one, enable upload new price product in process manager. Actually, this function is same as the new price product for the shop to go product there. You actually same function is the new price product and this one update and upload selected product to online store. So if let's say you got take this one, actually it's same function. So if let's say uh for example, so this one, if let's say uh you got take this one, so here you can see the result is same. Okay. So second is the uh, allow to change the product description. If let's say uh cost just now the product is actually get from the dynamo stock maintenance there. If let's say you want to change the product description or the online price or the stock notes, so here actually all is the retrieve uh from the dynamo stock maintenance. But you can go through this one shop to go product here. You you can change the description uh, online price uh, and then the stock notes. So here, if let's say you, once you got any changes, you go to click more here and update and upload the selected product to online store. So any changes you will change on the online store as well. Once you've got any changes here by this setting. Okay, the second one for this scenario, uh, actually if the barcode change at dynamic stop maintenance, have to, you have to, Take this one, update and upload the selected product to online store. That means uh, maybe last time the barcode is not this one. So you have to uh, change to by this way. So you update and upload again. But any update, you can try to check on the upload process information. Actually, it's under this shop to go products there. So you can try to check. You can see if let's say it changed here, you can see the process log is success. Then you can see the barcode is same as the uh, So this is the process log here. The third one is the product current stock price one. The current price will be depend on the set to go stock setup price option. That means as just now I mentioned, the if let's say your shop to go store setup is get uh, our dynamo stock price one, the current stock price one column will be show the price uh, what you set on the stock uh, store setup there. So here as number as here put if let's say you put price two here will be show the price two. So we have to take note for this one. Uh, spot scenario is product uploaded to the online store, but the user want to unlist the product from the online store. So they got two way to do on the shop to go products. Uh, Fat also like. Uh, can you repeat again? The sound is lacking. Uh, Which part? Uh, just now. Just now. This one. Ah, uh, this part. Okay. For the this one shop to go. Uh, product set up here. The uh, first scenario will be if let's say the product uploaded to the online store. So if let's say the user, oh, sorry, the merchant want to unlist the product from the online store for certain product, they got two way to do at the shop to go product. The first one is inactive the product. You can uh, select the item. First, you select the item, you double click it uh, at the shop to go product there. And then you can edit. So here, actually, uh, you can see the active is active. You untick the is active. And then, actually, the is upload here will be auto un untick. Cost just now should be this item is uh, take 
for the its upload. But once you change its active and take here already, they will auto and check. Okay, so continue is you can you click the more and then you click the new price product and then you update and upload the selected product to online store. Okay, so at the end you will see the product is uploaded, you'll be checked, you will take auto take by the system. That means this one is already uploaded again to the system, but this item actually is not active, will not show at the online store already. Okay, the next or if let's say just now you don't want to inactive, maybe the next way is assign the product under the category to unassign. To cost for unassign here, uh, all the item under this unassign, you will not show at the online store. <clears throat> so here we have to select or highlight the selected product which you want uh, don't want to show at the online store. Then you select the, after you highlight the item, and then you click on the on the side category, you click one time, uh, don't click two time. And then you click the more here, you will see the upload selected product to online store. You click it, this one, and then You double click and assign the category, and then you click these two product again. So you press more, and then you click the new price product, and you click the update and upload product. So at the end, here you will show the checkbox is uploaded, but these two items will not exist on the online store. So this is the way to set. So this is the depend which you want to use of which, which one. Okay. So this is the result after you update up. Still you not, either you use the 4A method or 4B method. So two will be show at the end the product will not show at the online store. Either. The next the scenario will be if let's say the product uploaded to online store already, but the one of course usually the multi UM item or three item. Uh, so maybe one of the product they don't want they want to unlist one of the multi UM product. So we can go to the also shop to go product there to do the inactive. That means here you can see uh you got unique carton 12. Per unit, uh, 12 unit per carton or 24 unit per carton. So the base on this scenario is to analyze Coca Cola, this one unit. So here is the scenario. So you, you go to the Coca, you select, uh, you search the Coca Cola, this item, all the item here, then you Cost just now want to inactive the unit. That's why we double click on the unit here. Then you can see on this screen. Here you inactive, you untick the inactive. You edit and inactive the, this item. Then, so as just now mentioned, once you untick this one, here also will auto untick is uploaded. And then the next will be. Highlight the selected and inactive product, and then you click more. You click the new price product and update and upload the selected product to online store. So here you will be uh, system will ask you is it want to upload again? So you click this one uh, yes. Here system will show is uploaded for this one. That means here will be successful uploaded to web store. Here you will see the result. 
one of the multi OM item is not show at the web store already. Okay, so the next will be the dynamic process manager setting for the shop to go. Okay, for the process manager here, we actually uh, we got three settings can set for this one shop to go. The first we can set the shop to go upload the new price product. Second is the upload product quantity from Excel. And then this one export data Excel actually is the to assist for second this one. That's mean if let's say you want to upload the product quantity from Excel, the third export Excel have to do. Lo. So the next will be, so the first one, if let's say you want to update the online store product price, if Dynamo store maintenance price there got any changes, so this is the setting you have to set at the process manager. And then have to take note, this one also have to set on the just now uh, shop to go store set up there to check, to take the shop to go upload new price product as well. Okay. The second is shop to go upload product quantity from Excel. Okay, for here, you can see this one have to take as well. And then the shop to go upload product quantity from Excel. System actually will retrieve the file from this product quantity file path. Okay. So if, so, uh, if let's say, Later, you set the export data Excel. The file have to under this one stop balance dynamo uh, shop to go path here under the product quantity file path here. The file name actually is depends on you lah. So that's why if I said you not put under drive D, maybe it's drive E or drive C, and then another name. Then here you have to put the correct path. Lah. This setting actually is to prevent out of stock. Uh, that means the short form is an OOS uh, issue. Because uh, some of the merchant they want to upload the stock there to let the their customer know if let's say the product is uh, no, the stock is not uh, no more available for the balance. So it will prompt the message when they do the purchase at the app or online web store there. So this is the example. If let's say for the OOS of the out of stock, that means if let's say the balance uh, not enough or not available, they will prompt out of stock item will be excluded. Please retry later on, on the screen. That means when they do the, after they done the odd, when they comp oh, uh, when they come to the, Check up listing here, they will see, or oh, maybe got one of the stock, no more stock in it. So maybe they can change to other product. Okay, the next will be export the Excel. For the export the Excel, actually is, uh, you have to add the export Excel task to export the dynamo available quantity upload to the online store. So here we'll be show how to set up this export task. First, you have to download the shop to go available quantity templates to the smart to our process manager file there export template. That means here you can download. Here is the link you can download. Then you put under this path. So here you get this uh, shop to go available quantity template put to here. So have to take note of this one, you have to put the template under this path. Second is you download and you download the apply store procedure script also from this link. Then using the SQL Server Management Studio to decide uh, to, to select which dynamic database for shop to go online store. So here is the step. You select the online, your dynamic database 
And then here, you change the export Excel uh, file path. This one is depend on user. Lah. You, you want to export to under which path. Okay, so here you can check put D or C, but here you have to take, you have to set the, the file name for this path. Lah. If let's say you put D, then you make sure D, D drive there or C drive there got this uh, folder. Then you execute. So here you can get the script as well for if let's say you want you if let's say you, you want to do this setting. Okay. Then you okay. So here you can get you create another new query. You can try this procedure. Is this successful or not? So you can input this uh, script under here. Then you can check uh, the file export to file name. Is it can can do this uh, procedure or not? So here the next will be at the task export Excel as just now mentioned here. But in Dynamo Process Manager, so you have to put a custom script to here. That means if let's say you add this export data Excel task, you have to put uh, this script under this custom script column. Then maybe here the task description there, you can put your own uh, to let you know uh, this, uh, which this, uh, task this task is for what. Lah. And then how long to export every Excel should be depends on user lab, but we, on our implement there, we recommend every two hours or you set 120 minutes. So every two hour, we will export the data for the available balance to the path there, that's mean. <clears throat> and then here, you can try to execute the selected task. That means if let's say once you set self ID, so you can try to testing. Then if success, the file should be exported to the desired directory. So here you can see if let's say successful, then you can go to the path there. You can you can see is it the file is successful uh, export or not. Okay. So this is the sample Excel output. Okay, you so this one, if let's say you're successful to get this one output, then you have to view this uh, shop to go upload product quantity, the setting. This one, if let's say uh, you got done this already on the setting, you can try execute, you can try execute uh, this Excel file to upload the balance to the online web store there. So this is the process major setting. If let's say you, got, uh, you want to do this three setting, you have to start to take note on this three part. So this is the first part, how to do upload the new price. Second is to upload the product quantity from Excel, how to do, and then if let's say you do this, you want to do this as well, the upload the data quantity from Excel, then you have to take note how to do the export data from the Excel. So here is the setting step by step how to export and then get the template. But have to take note for this one. If let's say you want to export the file path, then you have to change the setting from here. Then you, you run the script. So after you run the script, you have to try on the new query there, is it successful to export the file or not? And then when you do the export data Excel file here, you have to take note, have to put the custom script up. If you don't have to run this, then system will not export the file, you won't be able to set this one as well in uh, Excel. Uh, Fat, Fat, I think your sound not so good. Stop for here. Okay, okay. 
Okay, uh, so, anyway, I just summarize the part the training just mentioned that basically this section you will learn a lot of things regarding the product management. See how to do the OS, something like that. So the important part is the our setting. Now at the moment you can see we, we can do a lot of adjustment in our back ends, let you have a easy way to manage in one screen, in one area. So that you no need to go to different screen to manage the different scenario. So this is easy for the back end staff to manage all the product in the online store. Secondly, when it comes to the OS, the out of stock scenario, you can see just how far shade of you, why the screen appear the red color. That one, that is a, one of the easy uh, notification to the merchant who buying this item when they come to check out point. Why we only check on the check out point? Because a lot of the buyer behavior, the members normally they before make the decision to make the buyers, always they put the orders in their we call the the trailer there. They mean before confirm the buyer. That's why when you select, we may not come to confirm buyer. We won't check the quantity on hand for the particulars orders. So that's why when we come to confirm order, we only only the highlight for the member. Oh, this order is out of stock. This is how we manage. So this is all more, we call it more user-friendly when it comes to purchase cycle for the members. That's why we do in the checkout positions. Secondly, why we do the multi-UM? Just so far share with you, in, when you order the item, they have a multi-UM. But when you log in the particular item, you can see all the multi-UM, the item will come out in one screen. Why we do that? Because we want it easy for the member to purchase the particular item Inform that they got multi measurement so that the customer easy to buy either what by buy pieces or by cut cutter in one screen you can do all the transaction. No need to, to find another screen to find for cutter the item page. No need in one screen can sort all the UM. So in the other hand, they make the user pick the decision faster. Okay. So I think for the bosses, for the merchant, they would like have this guy the display so that. The member easy to buy the quantity because from the multi-UM always they get the better price with the different uh, the price. I'm right. When you go to carton, the cheaper by instead by one pieces. So this encourage the member buy more. So in the merchant side, they can sell more. I'm right. That's why multi-UM built in one screen is a very user friendly okay, for the merchant when buying the dimes. So I think another thing is the Another new function for called the uh, export the quantity by Excel. Okay, just how I share with you how to do the export Excel, the step, how to do it. But why we need this kind of the Excel? Basically, we have our auto synchronized solution already. Our auto synchronized means that whatever quantity balance in our dynamo, they auto sync the balance to your best store. But why, why we need extra the Excel template? This scenario may be applied for those merchant. They have their own forecast quantity sales for example. I know that today is really big season, so I can preset my quantity order expect expectation. Uh, you can set the in Excel format there. Instead, I've called to the, our actual stock balance for my dynamo. Because at, in the festival session, your outer sales will sell more. So I I I I need to estimate the quantity reservation on the online store. That's why I need the template. I can preset the forecast quantity on that so I sync with the quantity on that so that I won't be have an oversell happen. This is why we have this kind of the Excel template. If you your forecast have this kind of the sales activity coming. So this is how to utilize the of the this solution uh, Excel templates. Simon, Simon. So yes. I, I here, uh, yeah. I want to add on some, some point here. One All is right. the just now you mentioned is a with so called shopping cart. So a lot of people they just put at the shopping cart, but they haven't checked out yet. So that's why they they when they check out, or maybe the time the stock already gone. So that's why a lot of people uh maybe our dealer will ask why don't you 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 uh uh when the point they purchase we see the 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 stock level. So a lot of this is why I want to uh, highlight is because a lot of people put into the shopping cart and then at the end from the shopping cart, they haven't checked out. Maybe they check out a few days after that. Then so why we do the OOS is under the checkout, then only they realize, oh, this one they don't have. So this is the first scenario. Lo. 
So, and then the other scenario, just now you uh, mentioned why the we are put into the Excel file. Why don't you, since it's already in the grid, why don't you put a uh, straight away go into the Dynamo and check what is the real time of the stock then they can available. This is due to just now, uh, maybe uh, in the technical side, it's because if your server uh, keep on hacking by those online people, uh, so your server may be double tahan. They keep on checking, keep on checking. So that's why why we want to export it into the Excel file uh, within certain time frame, and then they upload it, then they are checking on online. It's not direct point to your database in the Dynamo. So it won't uh, drag down your, your server. This is one of the technical part lah, I want to highlight. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Kwa. Okay, later on, we go into another session regarding the touch pool and touch FMBs, the operation part. So in there, you learn when the online order success. So how do our post handle all the online sales? Okay, let's fast continue. I think this is already uh, 12, 30 already. Okay, I think another three part, I think we very faster. So no need to worry about there. So please stay still. Uh. Come in. Let's fast continue sharing, please. Okay, so the next part will be a cover for the touch flow and touch FMB. Uh. For just now, it's more import, uh, more the parts for the dynamo shop to go setting. For the next will be the touch ball or touch FMB setting. Uh. So we'll cover the shop to go system setup, API to socket configuration and setup, and then how to how about the shop to go online order screen at the poll system there. Okay, so this is part for the shop to go integration in poll system there. The first one we have to set the setting. So here actually you can click the function and then the system set up there, you can see the shop to go integration setting. Okay, you have to select the terminal number. That means if let's say the terminal number you set at the post there is uh, this number, then you have to select which one. And then this shop shipping info, the stock ID and UOM actually is get from the just now dynamo mode uh, shop to go store set up there. And then actually this shipping information all will be seen from the uh, just now dynamo mode there. But this one uh, you have to reconfirm is it the store ID you want now? Okay. And then uh, the checkbox for this one enable the shop to go deliver apps is the uh, you have to, uh, if they say they don't have used the merchant, if they say don't have used this one app, then actually here will be untaken. And then the auto refresh online sales setting actually, uh, by, by here you can set to 60 seconds. That means later the shop to go screen will auto refresh the sales screen. If they say everything confirmed, then you have to set and continue. Okay. All the setting actually shop to go setting will throw this uh dynamo client socket for shop to go store synchronization to the post there. So if, if let's say the dynamo got any setting uh update, then you can click synchronize here to update, or you will you can wait 30 minutes auto update also can. Okay. So the next one will be on the shop to go API socket configuration setup. Lah. Okay, you can get the web API socket from this link. This is uh, our uh, partner uh, partner website link. Then you can go in the username and password will be this one. Then you will get uh, this one so, uh, o, O2O series API here. <coughs> And then after you download, you unzip the file and copy the fold, copy this uh, file under your this one. You can put uh, under the smart app and then you put the folder to here under this smart app here. Okay, so after that, you open the task series 
uh, O2O API just now the folder, and then you double click this one uh, API service start ESE, then it will on the this one ap application for the socket. The next one after you open, you go to the desktop, the bottom right hand side there. You right click and then you click the show. You will see this screen. Okay. So how to set? You have to set up here, and then you put the customer name, and then the connection string you have to set as well, and then the port. The port number actually is the default 8600. If let's say you want to change, you also can change. Actually, this one default like the our Dynamo server socket is 8000. So if let's say you don't want to use this port number, you can change, but you have to, to do the port forwarding for this port. And then the IP actually is the host name. You put the format like this one. You put the host name plus the port number. So this one connection string is uh, just by our Dynamo database name. Uh, you you have to, but this one you put the is the post setting. So if let's say the the instant name is not smart, then you have to change. Uh. So this one is linked to the MSSQL the database there. The next one will be the okay. The next one will be the user management, and then you have to set this one. Actually, this one user uh, management is the permission for the, to get the API. That means, cause under this one, we got a few API to access for outside to get, which uh, they can get the API. So here, by default, actually, the system already set up the username for the smart. Just need to press the user access management button. Then you can configure or create the API key with the access right granted for the desired module. Okay, so here actually, you, you if let's say you want to add a new user, you can add, then you set the username password there. Okay, the user access management, as just now I mentioned, what you want to let like, uh the third party to the part, the party system or software or apps they want to let to access through this api okay so this one is assign the access right to for the this module where where they what what they can get lah, or they can add uh, or update to our post there. okay if let's say the user is the one you can delete lah, so you can but have to take no note here actually we prompt the message to let you know confirm delete the user or not so that means uh even you delete it will prompt the message let you know uh so that's why this one is not simply to delete up once you click this one under the user <clears throat> okay so here you can see to ensure the permission was granted then the api is ready to deploy that means you can see the permission to do what then this one is the API key for, for the third party to access here. Okay, and then you can press, the, press this one, open API URL to ensure the API is it configured or running. That means if let's say you click this one, open API, you, if let's say you can skip, uh, you, you see this one, if let's say uh, after you click this one, API URL, you can see this screen, that means the API is successful link uh, open idea. <coughs> okay. If not, no response, it will show like this. That means uh, cannot get it. So you have to check the port forwarding at the router or firewall setting or the NDA virus setting. Uh. Is it got block this one? Or you have to make sure the internet connection as well. Uh. So here you have to take note this part if let's say you get no response. And then have what you have to check out. If let's say uh, on the port forwarding, maybe you have to check the router is it got set port forwarding for allow this uh, setting, or check the dynamic DNS. This one actually it depends on user, uh, the, the merchant. Maybe some of the merchant they use the 
fake IP, then maybe here no need to set. Or they got use the another system system for the like no IP, they got the DOC system there. Maybe they don't need to set this one as well. But this all this one have to depend. So for this one, actually is uh you set under the post system which got linked to the this one uh online store. That's mean if let's say the post system they got uh use the for the this one shop to go, that that post PC have to set the port forwarding for this port. If let's say uh they got uh, this one you have to done the setting for this one. So the next you will have to check the window firewall or the NDRS exception for the this port. That means just now you set the port is uh X six zero zero. That's why here you have to make sure first you have to see is it uh you want to turn off the firewall if let's say you don't want to uh, set this one setting or you can set this one go to a one setting here you double click the impulse rules you click the new rules for that then you set the port next you set the tcp and then you put the port number to here then the next one is uh or you just select the allow the connection next until next here. Here you put the name for the shop to go, then you click finish. Here you can see the inbound through is allowed for this port idea. So if let's say they got used the ND virus, so you have to make the assumption for this port as well. Okay, if let's say done all the setting at the end, you have to put uh, this sort, uh, sort shortcut under the startup folder there. If not, later after you restart the PC, you will not auto start up the web API. Cause just now the ins installation uh, for this one task series o o to o API actually will not auto, it will not auto insert the file to here. That's why here you have to take note. If, let's say uh, after done of the setting, you have to set a shortcut under this startup folder here. Okay, the next one will be the shop to go online order screen. Actually, this screen is under the function here. And then uh, you can see the shop to go online order icon here. Then you will see this one online order. Okay, for here, the online order method, we actually got uh, two method. One is by delivery, and then one another one is by sell pickup. That means the merchant got two options for their customer. They want to use the de delivery method or the sell pickup method. The delivery uh, also, the order will deliver it to the customer based on their shipping address. Uh. That means if let's say the, the customer order already, the merchant will based on the customer address, shipping address to send the order. So at, by delivery method uh, on post system here, we also got uh, two options for delivery. One is uh, use our shop to go delivery apps. Another one is uh, by merchant own delivery apps or other delivery apps. So later we'll brief a bit at the high uh, this slide. And then the slide sell pickup is the, the order will pick up by the customer on self based on their selected store location. That means uh, after they order, when they order that the customer can select which outlet they want to collect their own order. So if let's say the merchant got three outlet, they will select either one. So by just now the delivery, we got two scenario here. One is the with our shop to go delivery app. Another one is a without the shop to go delivery app. If let's say they got use the shop to go delivery app, shop to go store set up here, you have to enable tick here. And then if no, you will untick here. So at the propose the process, you will see uh, got two different here. Is uh, if let's say got the shop to go delivery app, you can see got shift up order status, 
and the undeliver order status. Okay, for the first scenario, this scenario with shop to go deliver apps. So here you can see the uh, different on the screen as just now I highlight the shape up and the undeliver shape up and under it on this screen here. For the new is the you receive the new order from online store. That means the shop to go there. If let's say the customer order for delivery one. They will receive the order under this status. The processing here, if let's say uh, the order has been under the processing or packing, uh, that means if let's say the outlet staff there, they get the new order, they want to do the packing, they will put update the status to be processing here. If the packing is done, then the staff, outlet staff will be put the status ready to ship then here you can see the this one ready to ship actually uh once the status to this one ready to ship the if let's say for the driver who already apply under this shop to go delivery app they will get the notification they got order can pick up so for the ship up is only available, so as I just now mentioned, it's only available for the merchant who apply the shop to go delivery app. So order has been collected by driver. That means if let's say they got this use the shop to go delivery app, the order uh which collected by the driver, they will under the status ship up. If completed means the order already successful delivered to the buyer for the customer if let's say the order undeliver so the driver that means the driver unable to deliver the order due to no recipient or no buyer to, to get the this parcel order for the cancel is the order has been cancelled by the buyer okay second scenario is just now i mentioned is we up the shop to go delivery app they will miss these two ship up and undeliver. So new also send you receive the new order. The processing is the, under the the means the order is under packing or processing for the buyer. Ready to ship means ready for the driver to pick up the order. And then completed means order already successful pick up by the driver. And then the order has been cancelled. If I say mean, if I say the buyer cancel, they will cancel to show at the status cancel here. So this is the four uh we shop to go apps, uh, shop to go delivery apps, and we have the shop to go delivery apps. Okay. Okay, thank you, uh for sharing uh basically before we move on the further. So to some fat sharing a lot of info regarding the backend system, you can see the backend process. Is this very user friendly? Then this is how we design the operation for. So we let the merchant feel or cashier feel how to do step by step. They will not miss up the any step there. That's why we try to build in this kind of the standard SOP for them to follow up. Then follow the thing is, when you this kind of the thing, we need to handle some of the, just as mentioned by the far there are few scenarios like the cancel item, out of item, how to handle. They don't share to you how system to help merchant when scenario happen for our stock, how we persuade your customer still can in buying other items to replacement it. Because when order confirm in the on best store, in merchant side, they don't want to cancel the order, right? To cancel the item. In the other hand, I can put you merchant can use this kind of the scenario is promote the member buy other items. Is or can cancel particular items. This we can happen in the order uh, buying process. But we have a way to help to handle this scenario. Make sure the sales still come back. This is how to make the process for much more easy with our new solution in the process cycle later on, if I share with you how to handle this kind of scenario. So this is that. The other hand, we increase our the customer buying the certification, right? 
when you buy something online, although we have out of stock, but the merchant give you another replacement stock whereby the member can have a choice when to buy or cancel. Then increase the customer certification, then hand increase your merchant image, right? To build your branding. So this is another factor very important. So five, we share with you how to handle this scenario. Five, please share this for the, them the, how to handle this. Okay, so here is the scenario for the with the shop to go deliver app. So what we will facing this uh, on this scenario, the first one will be update the status processing to ready to ship. That means after they select the order, then they, when they update the status from the ready to ship from the processing, you will see this screen delivery order assignment. So from here, the cashier or the outlet staff have to select this order have to buy which vehicle, either by van or by motorcycle. So once confirmed, then it's confirmed the selection. So the app will show the notification. If let's say uh, the driver who registered the, for the vehicle for when, they will receive the notification. If let's say the user, the, the driver uh, registered for motorcycle, the motorcycle, uh, the driver will receive the notification. The second is, the order status if let's say undeliver. So how to process this undeliver status? Okay, for here actually for this undeliver is if let's say the driver at their shop to go delivery app there to click on this one return parcel. Once they click, system will update the order status to undeliver. If let's say uh no, don't have any recipient to receive the of this parcel. And then it able for this one undeliver status here. Uh, actually, we able to switch the order to be cancelled or to sell pickup. Okay, so when there's on the this undeliver and deliver status here, we got these two options, either cancel. So uh, cancel order will process the order to do the refund bill. If let's say for sell pickup, we process the order from delivery status to the sell pickup status. Okay, here, if let's say and deliver status here, if the order is payment by cash on delivery COD means the order, uh, the payment when the, the driver send the things to the buyer, the buyer only to pay the payment. So for here, if let's say under this status, the actually is unable to switch the order status to be self picked up if the payment is by cash on delivery. When you do this thing, when you, uh, when the order on delivery change to the cell pickup, you will see a message like this one to cell pickup. And then here will prompt a user proceed convert to, to the cell pickup. When you click yes, uh, system will prompt the message COD online order is not allowed to convert to sell pickup. So here have to take note. Uh, if let's say you've got implement uh, facing the issue like this, then you have to take note for the user or the merchant there. If let's say here, cash on delivery order only available to do the cancel order if no recipient receive the parcel order. So here is the step. You select the order, then you update the status from the undeliver status here, then you do the cancel order. We will see this message. Once you click yes, system will prompt the message at the refund screen here. Are you sure want to refund this bill to the driver? If so, this one 
payment will refund pay back to the driver cost COD order. The driver has to pay before they deliver the parcel. That means if let's say uh, the driver, they, when they go to collect this order from the just now uh, the merchant shop there, they have to pay first to the merchant there. If let's say the customer buy is 139, 139 ringgit like that, then they have to pay first. Then when they send the order to the, the buyer or customer there, the customer pay the money for the driver. So this is the, that's why when we refund the payment, have to pay back to the driver. So this is the step here. So the next, if let's say the order is payment by online payment at the web store, that means they fully payment done on the app or website there, online store there. Then when they change the system to sell pickup, they will see- Can the you hear you? Can you repeat the screen? Can I, can I hear you? Okay. For the under status, we also got the another method is a payment by online payment. That means if let's say the buyer fully payment at the web store there or online store there, then they can, uh, for this one, they can change the status to self picked up. Then you will see this one message when you uh, change to the self picked up. Here you will see, uh, are you sure want to proceed from what to self pick up? What you click yes, the order will directly change the status to self pick up. Actually, this one is under the delivery order there. But once you confirm here, you will change to here. Then the order will be under this status self pick up ready. Okay. The second scenario is if let's say the you the merchant don't have applied for this one shop to go delivery app, so what they will facing? So this one is no don't the the when the order don't have used the delivery apps. So here it will be simple. Just update the status ready to ship to complete on it. So once the order at the ready to ship then the next data directly to complete if the driver come to collect the order parcel. So this is more simple way. So the next one will be the, just now more on the deliver, delivery one, expect delivery. But for here, we also got the online order also can get the sell pickup. That means if let's say the buyer, the confirm everything they want they buy, then they can select which uh, outlet near their house, then they can collect up under the outlet there. So this is the status. If let's say uh, new status here means the, we receive the new orders from the online store. The processing sent as just not actually order has been under the processing of packing and then if the status is under the sell pickup ready, means ready for buyer to pick up at the order. That means actually the user, if let's say use the apps or online store to buy, then they can see uh, the status already under sell pickup, then the, the buyer can ready to collect that at the merchant shop there. If let's say the order or for the completer is the order already successful picked up by the buyer, means done separately. So cancel send is the cancel order by the buyer. Okay. For this one, online order status sell pickup to sell pickup ready. So here you can see if let's say uh, when the status sell pickup ready to complete when they do this step, the customer have to provide the verification code to the cashier. That means 
once they select the order, then update the status to complete. They will prompt this mess, uh, this box come up, then the cashier have to ask the customer to work to get the collection code to verify is it this order under the same uh, or same customer or not. If not, uh, if not same, then they cannot proceed to complete. But for, for what way for what? Why we need this? Uh, basically, to make sure the product TV to the right hand, right? Like you take the money from the ATM machine. That's yeah. why we need to build this function to make sure the item TV to the right, right person. Uh, actually, yeah. very easy uh, because it, when it come to this screen, the member can check the order is in their handphone there. The, then pump in the, the code. Very straightforward, all right? This is why we need this kind of the prediction code. Please process. Okay, so for the next one, here on the, either on the delivery or self pickup screen, here we also can able to filter the payment status for every order. That means here you can see or you can see the payment method here, either or COD or online payment. If let's say here you can see unpay and pay here to if they say they don't have to do filter, they will show both together here. If let's say for unpay here, you can see just all show all the unpay order. And then all if let's say for pay here, we show the all the payment with all the order already paid. Okay. Okay, for here we also got a uh, adjust item. This one have to take note. For adjust item, only able to use when the order or when the order status under the processing. No matter if the uh, delivery or the sell pickup also same. If the online order have any stock, not enough the quantity available for the buyer, system allowed to do item adjustment, either remove the stock item or the quantity. That means maybe they, uh, they purchase, the customer purchase at the asset, they got stock, they mentioned they got stock. But when the outlet staff that do the packing, then found some of the item, not enough bad the stock, or some of the stock actually uh, no more already. So they can do the adjustment for the item. So we also got two scenario for this uh, adjust item. One is the, for the online payment. Another one is the cash on delivery COD. If let's say the online payment, online order which make online payment, adjust item will do refund the item with the transfer payment to the in-card prepare wallet. That means if let's say the, uh, the got any stock not enough or no more stock already, the refund amount will be transferred to the in-card wallet there. If the buyer no register as the in-card member, that means when they uh, register the online stock, the online member, actually uh, when they online do the when they register, they have to uh, apply as the in-card member. If not, uh, it will not be able to do the refund. So this one really, really have to take note. If not, if you have to, the merchant have to manually to adjust the payment for the customer. And then the second one, the COD. Online order which make payment for the COD, adjust item will adjust the quantity or cancel the stock item before the driver pick up to make the payment for the cashier. That means they can do the adjustment before the driver to pick up. So next I will explain just now the two scenario. Adjust item for the online payment order. So how to do is you select the order then you click the adjust item. Okay, here, actually this one with one screen same as the what we do the, uh, 
normal sales refund the screen up you select the item which uh, have to refund the quantity you can click on same as a uh, usually what we use on this screen here then you click on refund here we prompt the message are you sure to set the refund by item bill as a income prepared top up so if you confirm then you click yes if you click no then no refund or that will back to the just now screen here. So here, if let's say confirm, here you will see this one refund by item as in capital is done for the which order. So please attach the refund receipt with the order list for reference. So have to take note the refund receipt you have to put together you have to let the uh, merchant know have to put together as for their buyer as a reference or if not they they see how come less one of the item they don't know okay for the cod if let's say they do the cash on the the order is do the cash on the rate then you want to do the adjust item so here is the way to do you select the order then you click the adjust item okay so for this one you will see the screen will be different to adjust the item here you have to select which uh, item you want to adjust here once what, what you adjust actually is the mine to deduct the stock quantity take up from there if let's say for this one actually the customer buy three you put one here will be minus one then if you confirm then you click set the adjustment then here we prompt the message is it want to proceed if you confirm then you click yes here is the way you see on the after you've done the adjustment you will see negative one will be generated in the same document here already so no need to surprise our cost already should this one customer already to, uh, not the shop is not enough to stop us uh, let's say the customer pie trade so you deduct one here means at the end actually this item sent to unit only so this process as the our system usually the logic one uh. <coughs> okay Take note for this one. Shipping fee is not allowed to adjust. That means if let's say uh they got the shipping fee here, actually it's not allowed to do adjustment. So have to take note. What also can adjust the shipping fee is cannot adjust. Okay, the next one will be the printing option. We can print up three report here. One is the order list. Another one is the packing list, and then last is the packing summary. So, what is the difference? This is the sample order list. If let's say the order sent by uh, the cut back by the customer, they will print up this receipt order list for the customer. And then when do when they do the packing, they can do the print up this one packing list. Another one is the Picking list summary that can select few order together to combine to print up. Then here actually will show this item is under which order. So here you can see two, but here you can see is one item is for this order, another one is for this order. So picking list actually is for the stuff to check uh, is it the order is correct or not to when they're picking <clears throat> okay for the driver pickup cashier need to scan the driver delivery qr code so here when writer the driver come to pick up once you click this driver pickup you will have uh, the cashier have to scan this one the qr code under this column so qr code actually is the do number so here you once you scan the driver qr code uh, when they collect this 
the order. Actually, this is under the shop to go delivery app. So if let's say they got uh, use our shop to go delivery app, you click the icon to zoom up, then let the cashier to scan. So this one had to make sure the cashier there, the scanner can scan the QR code. Lah. Okay, for the online, this one update status. Here, every time, if let's say I uh, want to update the status, we actually base, uh, basically is from this one update status. Once you select the order, then here you select the order to up the status which you want to update. Once selected the order, press update status, it will update and proceed to next order status. So that means if let's say now it's under new, once you click update status, you will show this status. If let's say you press the processing, the order will under the processing status. If let's say you, you click the ready to ship, then that means the order is ready to ship there. Okay. Here you can see to lock, if let's say uh, to want to let, simply to let some of the user to touch this screen, then you can lock. Then uh, oh, this one actually is what someone to touch or use the system. If let's say a uh, stranger go around there. Okay. For this one, refresh, refresh. Actually, if let's say uh, when order received, got any order received from the portal there, they will refresh. Because this thing is like it will remain here. If let's say you know refresh, then maybe got new, new order come in, they will not uh, show the new order, it will be here. But this one actually we can set the auto refresh. This one we can set uh 60 seconds as just now uh system setup. Then you can say you set this one, you can take it will auto refresh. If you know take this one auto refresh, then you have to manually to click this one refresh button. Okay, so this is the whole system integration with the shop to go. So far, uh, here, okay. Uh, thank you for sharing. I think more of you feel tired, is it? You already one forty-five minute. minutes, you attend this uh, seminar already. Okay, I just summarize just now the fact, try to explain to you. Basically, in just how the scenario, actually we share our experience to you, give an idea when you promote this shop to go to customer, how to handle, just how I mentioned, the, Missing item, out stock item, and then how about the uh, adjustment stock, and then how to print the packing list, all already ready in there. So, another word is actually we have to cover the order. Majority scenario happen on in the online order process. So in this uh, training, you you get know how to handle different scenario. So in your, in same apply to the just how the mentioned by the FAT. Why was the system update? Uh, basically, why was transaction you done in the process screen there? It basically remember you get the email notification. You know they worry about that. When when you done the notification there, uh, how to inform the member? No need. When you done the whatever step in the update status, one step you done, the email you send to the particular members. So this is how we engage with your member side. So whether stock not enough. They will tell the customer, okay? Then, in other words, for the delivery agents, just I mentioned by the fact they are two way, uh, with delivery own agents or engaged with the party delivery agents, uh, so we can handle this post scenario. So for you, oh, so in the merchant, so how to advise to the customer? Which part choose is better? Let's say you want to do the express delivery, I, I will propose the merchant to invest the own DVD agent team. Why we say like that? Because uh, when you implement the space DVD, means me to say you need to DVD the goods according your timeline, all right? It means must be must puncture your goods, must be reach to the customer according the time preset in the order state. So if you engage with the party, how do you make sure the party agent will DVD the goods according your time? Unless you invest your own merchant, that means your own DV teams, use our DV apps to implement. Because we have proper flow to manage your, your driver process, application process, 
Then the commission also we can do in our delivery agents. So with this proper uh, implementation, so you implement the delivery, aspect delivery business model is very good and then very feel comfortable to the member. So this is how we advise to customer, try to use our own delivery agent teams. Then this why we different between two uh, delivery agent teams. I can you can you can think about that how to do the implementations. Then lastly is the just how I mentioned by the first said that uh, when the good it means that when you cancel orders, so normally we want the the money through back to the in card uh, wallet, I'm right? So how to avoid this? to happen. So normally we implement this solution. We always ask the merchant, whatever uh, member of the bank, they must be registered as a member. When we the proper uh, process, that means that whatever the return all automatically go back to in-card wallet there. So this is how to avoid the confusing to the member or to the merchant side. So this is where a push must be. We just remember, if not, the member cannot purchase. This is how we do the uh, push. Uh. So that's why I just have to worry, no need to worry about that. We have the solution to cover that. Then coming on, uh, we share the shop to go apps using the buy apps. Uh, because just some, all the mention is the web store. Then now we come to the buy apps and then delivery agent apps, how the process follow line, uh, they share with you how to do it. So. When come to the uh, push, uh, because our package, we have come with the own web store package. Then third is uh, we have our own, back, back, uh, own app store plus the delivery, oh, sorry, but with the buy apps is the second package. The package, we have our own web store plus the buy apps and the delivery agent apps. We've got three packages there we're selling according to customer requirements. So normally we are push, we, we always sell either own web store plus the buy apps. Uh. Why we uh, push this package? Because in the analysis said to us is when we come to the buyer processor, normally the member use the handphone to buy to buy the the goods. You apps, your apps you can see all information inside the more user friendly. We come in our process for ordering floor. So using the buyer apps is good. Instead of just buy the own web store, although the own app store is the mobile friendliness, but for us we always encourage them to use the buy apps. We own App Store package together. Later on, I will share you why the benefit when you're using the buy apps. Okay, Fat, please continue your sharing. Okay, so next will be the our shop to go apps. So shop to go apps, we got two apps up. One is the buyer app, one is the delivery apps. So this is the left hand side is the buyer apps. Second, right hand side that one is the delivery apps. Okay, so for you, if let's say you want to do the testing or any demo, you can download from here, then you will get the shop to go uh, buyer apps. So for the buyer apps here, once you done the installation, you will see the shop to go this icon here. You just click in the shop to go application. Here you will see the shop to go main page. So how to log in? You just click on the account here. You can see the login function. And then you just key in your uh, email or the mobile number, then you can verify. If let's say system verified this account uh, is uh, registered before, you can key in the password and log in. Okay. So here you can see the account information here. You can uh, click on this uh, account here. You can see your, your user profile and then the shipping address. If let's say you got set here and then you, if let's say you want to change the password also we will be able to show on this screen here. Okay, how to do the make online order. You can uh, select on the item there, then you add to cut. So here you, system will prompt the message like this to visit one to confirm then you click ok so we will add to cut uh, order cut there then so here if after you click on if let's say you want to continue the next system still can able to continue 
the next order. Then here you can select this item, how many quantity you want to order. Okay, once you confirm everything, uh, you, you, you enough to purchase, then you click on the buy now here. Here you can see the summarize of the cut there. So here you still can able to adjust the item which you want or which you want. So here you can click on check up here. You will see the next will be ask you to select uh, either you want to delivery or you want to sell pickup. If let's say delivery, you have to select the address which you want. And then if let's say uh, here don't have your, maybe you have the, another address you want to delivery, you still can able to click new to insert a new address here. Okay. So once you done all the selection for the shipping or self pickup, then here after you select the ad address as well, then actually you have to key in the collection code. Lah. Okay. You after you key in the collection code, actually the collection code uh, system got default to prompt up the four digit number for you. Okay. If you want to change, still able to change. And then you select your preferred timer. If let's say you do the on the order is by delivery, you have to select your preferred time. Then here you can select the online payment. You want to online payment or cash on delivery. If let's say uh, you want to do the online payment, here you have to select the online payment and then you confirm the order. So here we will show the next proceed payment data. But because this one is the, the, uh, the demo app, so here uh, we don't have the next process. So if the actual the live app there, you have to proceed, proceed the next payment. Uh, but this one is depend the merchant what they register. If let's say they register for the IPADA, then you will show you continue the IPADA the payment screen. Okay. For next will be uh if let's say online payment there actually uh they can use the merchant in card like the voucher point or top up credit. So here if say the the buyer they got uh the merchant the voucher, then they can select the voucher to before they make payment. So they can select which voucher they want to claim, then to select. Then here you can see the, the uh, if I say they got point or they got the credit balance, they can enable it and then uh, they either can select the use point or use credit balance to pay. Okay, so here uh, once you select either one, you have to key in the redeem point redemption, the password or the credit balance when, when they use the in-card wallet, the balance, they have to verify this uh, the password to here you have to key in. Then here you can confirm order. So once done the this uh this kind of the online payment by the voucher point of the upgrade, then the once the transaction done, you will show this screen come up above your collection code. So here, that means the order is successful uh, get uh, purchase already. Okay, how to check the order status? So here you can click on the account here on the main screen, then you check the order. You can see the your order status is processing or complete or cancel. Here you can see the order processing status. Up. Then you can click on this order to see the details. Here you can see if let's say by shipping address under which outlet, if let's say the merchant got few outlets, you can see uh, this order is under which outlet. Okay. So for the checkout card here, as just now mentioned, you can adjust the quantity which you want. You if let's say this one you you want buy more you can click add or if let's say you don't want you can delete by this icon delete icon 
Okay. Another is item search, how to search your uh, desired item. You can buy the category searching by this category here. If once you click the category, it will show the category listing. You can search by the item by category. Or here you can see upside uh, scan icon. You can scan your item. If let's say you previously got purchased before, then you can scan the item at your if let's say uh, the item barcode or QR code, you can scan, you scan the item, then the system system will check is it this barcode uh, got sent with the their merchant item or not or you can search by name okay here every item here you can see the uh, icon here actually this one is the if let's say you want to add this item under your favorite item you can click on this icon then system will add this item under your favorite listing. How to check if let's say you got add ID. So how to check on the main screen here, you can see the favorite, then you can see all your, your added favorite item before you can see on all the listing here. Okay. If let's say you want to share up this promotion, this item to your friend, you can share to Facebook, WhatsApp, or your message also can then your friend can get on this link to 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 check the, the item pricing or promotion <clears throat> okay next will be the delivery apps if let's say you want to test on this demo delivery apps you can download from this link okay once you done installation actually here you can see the icon like this shop to go delivery this one is the best shop to go daily demo so after you've done the installation you can see this icon then you log in on the so this is the system uh login screen for the delivery apps okay if let's say you want to register as a this one delivery driver so you can register here then you insert your mobile number. After you insert the mobile number, you click on get code. So your mobile, this number, you get the notification verification code sent as the TSC at the bank account there. You can copy this, uh, you will copy the number to here. Then to next proceed to insert your password, then select the gender. Okay, so here you can uh, insert your name, the email, the vehicle you select to register as a motorcycle. You want to the motorcycle or when you can select, then you put your uh, car, the car, num car plate number. And then if an uh, account has been created successfully, you can, you, after you submit, you will see this one successfully to create. Then after you click OK, then you have to attach your photo. Lo. You put your for your profile image, uh, driver license, uh, and then the IC behind and front, uh, back and front. Uh, and then uh, attach the photo for the car, insurance cover note, vehicle gland, vehicle photo. You can you have to set this. So the merchant have to make sure they got the document like this. Uh. Then once the uh, attach done already, then submit. So after submit, this one will pending the merchant to approve. Oh, see the driver is it okay or not? If let's say the when they uh pending to approve, driver actually uh not allowed to log in oh, before then. So uh we'll have a message sent as the image. This one account still under verification. Try again later. Okay. So how to approve this uh merchant? How to approve this driver? They have to come to the admin portal there. You click on maybe for demo, you can click on this link. Then uh you can get the 
come to the driver and pending approval here. Then you check the driver, you can click on this action button here. Then uh, you can see the, you can check before you, you can verify it first. If you say confirm, then you can press this uh, approve the driver. So here, later I, later the uh, admin portal there, maybe I will share the pass, username and password. Uh. Here I forget to insert the username and password here. Okay. So here is the, if let's say uh, approve done, then you can check the approve tab here. Try to fill the driver name or the car plate number. Here you can see approve ID. So once to approve, the driver can try to log in and start as the merchant delivery team driver. So they can log in by the... Okay, but, uh, mm. Hold for a while. Uh. Mm. Yeah, basically, just how, this is uh, how to apply the driver uh, applications. You see, uh, there are a lot of information need the driver submit. Okay, why we do that? Just this is a cell uh, agent, delivery agent apps. Ma. So I need to make sure, our merchant need to make sure every agent join in this uh, delivery agents. The, all the document we ask for it is actually to help to protect the merchant because they help you to deliver the goods to the customer side. So because this is a delivery process. So the important is like your, your car, Owned by the HDV, is this valid? Have valid blue tax? Have valid insurance? This is very important. When an accident happens, we, we, let's say this document, you know, it's a valid document, so who will pay the cost? That's why we, really, we, we need to be very careful. When we approve this driver, all documents must be very clear to submit the check properly so that this is how to avoid this, just how the incident happens. That's why process must follow. We ask this to protect the merchant benefit. That's why we, we, we need the driver submit all the data comment by image, at least they have the monitoring. Okay, this is the purpose why they need to go through this process. Come, uh, continue your process. Okay, so okay, they can start. If let's say a property, then they log in as usual, the mobile and password to log in. So they can start to uh, to collect the order. If let's say they got the new order come in, then they will get the notification. So if the if got order for the new if got the new order, then the drivers like usual will receive the notification. But all, all the new receive order, they will have the pending status here. That means if not yet have driver to pick up. Okay, so how to handle the new order processing from the pending become active? Okay, so you can select, if let's say uh, this order, the driver uh, may be okay, then they can select the order. Then here you can accept the order. You click in uh, this order, they will show the detail, the information that you accept. So here we prompt the message, uh, are you sure to accept this? Then you click OK. So once you click OK, you, the order will be go to the active status there. Then how to handle the active order to collect the parcel from the merchant shop? OK, here you can click on the active. When go to the, the driver go to the merchant shop to collect the order, then they click in the, this order. OK. So here, click on the, this icon, let the cashier to scan when collect the pa order parcel. Okay. How to start the deliver parcel after collected from the merchant shop? Then the driver have to click the start lock, then start the job means they have to start to deliver this item to the buyer day or the customer day. So once you click OK, you will see the details will be like, you can like this off, all the information here. Then uh, after driver actually can text the message or phone call to the buyer by these two buttons. So they can send the message by WhatsApp 
or they can call to the customer. Okay, so driver also can link the Google Map or Waze for the delivery destination. That means if let's say the driver want to use the their GPS to to deliver, then they click this icon here. You can select Google Map or Waze. If let's say you the driver the app state or uh, their phone got installed the the way then they can use the ways as well for Google Map. Okay, how to check the driver commission or income earning history? They can click on the this history icon, then they can see the total earning. That means, uh, if let's say they no filter, they will see all the no filter the date. They you will see the total earning start from the uh, when they start the job to use uh, this one they will ask. If they got filter, maybe they want to filter month by month, then they can filter the month uh, or by day, then you system you filter, you click on this uh, icon, system you filter. Okay, so by this uh, month, how much they earn, and then here you can view the order, you can check the details, how much, how come uh, this one is for six ringgit for this cent for the earning? Okay, so this is the way to check their commission or earning income. Okay, if let's say the driver forget the password, they can click on the forget password here. They key in the password and then press the get code. You will receive the verification code that insert to here, then you update the new password. Okay, if let's say the driver want to change the password, they can check the profile, password, and then the update the new password. Okay, so for the driver profile here, actually can update the email address, the other cannot simply to have changed. Okay, so for the shop to go app for buyer and delivery apps is my just not an experience. So the next will be the shop to go site for the demo web store or demo admin portal. Uh, fact for wait for a while. Uh. Mm -hmm. I think uh, are you one or oh, you want to break for five minutes? Because I think another 20 minutes to, to finish, is it fact? So I think all of you know our apps already. I think very straightforward. I think it's, it's very user friendly. It's uh, other apps you can use the uh, markets. From there, it's easy to manage. Lastly, is uh, our shop to go site lah. I mean your web store, how to manage, and the back end of web store how to manage. If you have studied the site giant before, I think almost the same lah. The the concept. But before that, uh, are you really want to go for a toilet break, or I need to continue? Please give me some signal on your chat there. You want to go for break, you put one. No? If you really want to continue, put one. If too much, put two. Let me know. Continue. Make one continue. Continue. Key uh, Han is two. Okay, I see majority. Huh? Two half only. Okay, continue. Okay, okay. Come on, free. Please start something. I think give you some exercise. Uh, just sit there, listen, uh, fact, share a lot of information. So, continue. Oh, oh, okay. How about others? Because we have uh, more than 50 participants today, you know? Maybe stop a while first. Uh, two minutes. Then uh, see go for got toilet maybe, break, five minutes. Uh, five minutes. Uh, maybe if let's say got question, maybe can ask. Uh, you now. can for those who are interested to raise question, you can raise for here. If for those who want to go for toilet break, just go for toilet break five minutes. Yeah, five minutes, please. Anyone you can raise question, just raise here. I can mute your mic if you want. Okay, I mute so. your mic if you have question, you can ask. Five minutes. Okay. Ah, okay, someone request five minutes break. Can you handle first? Huh? Yeah, all right. Okay, I think today we really appreciate all you stay until now or two and fifteen, two and hour, two half, two hour and fifteen minutes of Actually, shop to go is a quite uh recall 
the more complete solution for those merchants really want to invest for future trend. Because for to go focus is the more for you to be made like the self pickup concept and a press delivery. Okay, this is more different with others. Another strength is the member, member benefit. You see, uh, if you check it outside the, the solution, you invest a such end or other package. The majority concern by merchant is the member cannot sync uh, between online and offline the membership. So this is our solution can adapt, adapt on this, the media of the requirement and majority merchant concerns. Because when you build a website, a lot of members to purchase. At the end, if the, the member point can utilize in offline or online, if the member cannot share each between online and offline, I think the member certification level will be lower down. Am I right? That's why, when, because this is up to merchant the, the budget. Uh, okay, but for us, we need to share with the customer. If you want to go to online, the important is the member certifications. I think they should invest on this shop to go concept, especially for those who have multi outlets and there are a lot of membership. In this kind of merchant, they should invest this solution. Because in, after you invest this one, you can make you different with other merchants. You can provide self pickup solution and best delivery. At the same time, your order can automatically sync from the related outlet. Make your order selling process much more easy for merchant to do analysis and handling. So this is more suitable for those merchant have multi outlet plus the membership together, okay? We have five ring, I didn't finish the day. We continue, go for further. Another 30 minutes to finish the last part, shop to go style for the web store and the admin portal. Okay, so this is the... Okay, we continue. Uh. Okay, yes. so here we got uh, admin portal and the web store. Uh. Admin portal is for the to set the item or accessory for the user. The web store is for, uh, for the online purchase one uh, for the customer. Okay, here you can click on the demo link to test the, our shop to go online portal web store. Okay. If let's say you want to register as a shop to go member, then you can register click here. And then here you can insert, you can insert your personal information to here and you continue to update the, to register. Okay, next will be the verification. If let's say you log in, so this one as set as a this now the app, you can key in your mobile or email, then you can uh, verify. So here, if I say, uh, you got you are the existing member, then you can try to log in. Okay. So for here, if I say you forgot the password, you can key in the email or the ID uh, or the IC number. Then you submit. Then you can you can get the new password from the email. For the member personal information, you can click on the, this icon or this, actually this icon also can, then you can see the personal information like here. And then uh, uh, you can check the order status. You can check the wallet uh, balance or point balance, your favorite. So uh, your favorite, you can check. If let's say you got set, uh, just you got add the favorite on this listing, so the product actually here you can see the icon add to which list means add to favorite list. Here you can see the favorite listing of for you, and then the shipping address you can check. You can add the shipping address from here also can, and then you can change the password. So here all you can do what you want, and then the member profile information. Okay, for here actually have to take note as just now mentioned. Uh, if let's say the member already registered under the web store, your your the merchant web store, but if let's say they want to uh register as an in card member, then they have to renew here. 
That means once they successful register the account, they have to come to personal information here uh, to click to see the expired date. So here, if let's say they no register, uh, the as just now the post system integration they have mentioned, uh, any purchase will not uh, have point and cannot do the fund item. You will have to travel lah. That means cost our uh, our currently method is the logic is system. Uh, if I say the member or customer do any purchase, they want uh, any item uh, adjustment or do any refund item, the refund amount will be convert to the in-card wallet. Day. That's why here, if I say they don't have to register, when they do the return or refund item, then they will, they will have the issue. So here they can click on the renew. They, uh, if let's say the merchant got uh, two mem uh, got two options for the member either renew for one year or two years, then they have to check out. They have to do the renewal. So here actually uh, just now for this one renewal, if you still remember for the just now uh, dynamo setup there we got a uh, one option uh, is at the store setup there is a renewal the checkbox there if let's say that one got take under the outlet there so this one transaction for renewal we will post the sales to that outlet location post so that one if let's say you no know, take this one renewal fee will not sink to the post to get the sales for this renewal. So this one have to take note. If let's say uh, the for the renewal payment, how to get? If let's say they don't have check on the checkbox there, so here the payment will not receive at the sales retrieve the sale for this one. <clears throat> okay. Here we can search the product by name. Search by this one below, it will show all the below here. And then you can search product by item category. Then you can skip the item. Or, and then uh, for the online purchase, you add, after you add to cut, here you can see the checkup, how many items you already on the checkup listing there. And then you can to reconfirm the purchase before uh, you want to adjust or delete the item, you still can check up here. Actually, from here, sorry, actually from here, you can check either by payment method, you can choose the payment method or confirm the order. Before you confirm the order, you have to choose the shipping method. I just now that I show at the app there. And you have to select the delivery address, shipping address, enter the collection code. So the collection code also default will show system will show four digits for you. Then you can choose the delivery preferred time and then choose your choose your payment method. Okay. On here if got merchant, if the merchant got the voucher for the member before, then they can the the customer also can claim their voucher, the point balance or the credit balance for this uh, payment transaction. So, so if let's say they done the payment by online transfer, then they will show the online payment screen like this one. And then if let's say successful, uh, it will show this screen. So for the online payment, actually we at the demo site, we can use the in card point or in card wallet or the in card voucher to do first up for here. Cause this one uh, for the testing demo side, we don't have link to any uh, payment platform. Okay, for the next one, we here will show the admin portal. So this is admin portal to control the some of the admin job. Lah. Like you can click on this link. The username and password is admin and admin. So here you can see 
login, you can see the dashboard for the seals. So this is the by daily seal. Have to take note. And then here you can see the category item. So this is the category what you have already. Then at the dynamo there, you can download this all the category to for you to assign. That means all the category have to set on here before you download to the dynamo there. For the product, what you already upload at the dynamo. Just now the shop to go product there. If you sync to here, you will see all the items here. Here you can insert the image. Cause just now you uh, upload from the dynamo there, you don't have to insert the image. So for here you can insert all the image, and then uh, you can uh, check the search your product after you uh, upload to here. You can filter from here, and then. Option actually is uh, for the multi OM. Here, actually, we, you can go into this select your preference here. You can see the multi OM unit here, same as like this option example. This is uh, and then you can put the option image. If let's say every option you want to put the image, you can come to option image, put the image, up. and then the brand, all the brand you can. Here. And then the driver. Driver just now got mentioned the pending approval will show here. If let's say approve ID, you can will show here. So the pending approval here, if let's say as just now the app there, if let's say uh they want to approve, actually click on action there to click approve button to approve the this one uh driver. So once the approve will show here, for who reject will show here, and then the commission can commission uh will be show at here or at actually here you can here you can see all the driver the commission here. If let's say you want to filter by date or driver name, you will show here. So the driver commission is the eighty percent. Then if let's say the shipping fee is uh. 10 ringgit, 8 ringgit will be the driver commission, 2 ringgit will be merchant charge. Okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, wait for a while. Just how the commission, uh, please be reminded, this commission basically can preset when you implement this uh, shop to go. Uh. Just how I just share the sample here. Yeah. Mm. Not really 80% of the people you know, uh, this can preset. When you implement this solution, it's just the idea only. Yeah? I like think when know. when they when register, they have to let the web vendor to know. Yes, yes. Continue. So example like this one commission. So if eight ringgit, the detail here will show the eight six ringgit forty cents of driver. So buyer app there you can see it's eight ringgit, but for the driver. Earning commission there, you will see this one is six ringgit forty cent, and then you can see the sales here. You can get the order. All the order will be shown here. If let's say the order uh is red color means the sale the orders not yet uh, is waiting to send the sale to the post system there. So have to take note if that says uh. Red color, and then if let's say for any uh message from up, maybe uh the bug, you can take you have to take note of maybe some of the barcode not exist uh or cannot sync to post maybe the API socket is closed uh so here will be show the message like this if let's say blue color means the order already synced to the post that out already and then. If let's say the order no biker pickup will show here. Okay, so this is the demo and importer and just now the web store portal. So that's all for today. La. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much. So very very tidy. <laughs> you see, now already one o'clock. Two and a half hours spending here. So so now. Uh, we come to the last portion of the Q&A section. 
I just uh, would like to share on the web store. Basically, web store not only uh, mentioned by the FAT, just how FAT to show you individual the function with the web store. If you've got time, you try to visit our the demo website. You can see a lot of functions you can do in the web store, like the product promotion or web store advertisement, the campaign, all the things you can do in the web store there. After doing it, then your web store will be changed according to your back end setting. So this is under web store setting there, but we didn't share today. Lah. So you can play around uh, with our demo site. You can see more information. So now quickly go to the create section, raise your concern, and then what you, any doc on the just the sharing from FAT. Wait, uh. Wait, uh. For, for the dynamo, you don't set the setting. You, you can link to our Dynamo demo there. Don't, don't set on your own Dynamo because it will cause some of the issue. So maybe later the, the slide there, I will add the, how to link to our Dynamo, our, our demo Dynamo there. So don't simply to set the, just now the setting under your own Dynamo uh, data there. That's been here. This one, don't, don't set on your own dynamo. This one, actually, you have to link to our demo dynamo there. Then later, I will set how to configure your, your login for the dynamo to link to here. For the post there, you can, uh, you can configure your own post, uh, the own API socket. You can do this one, the setting, download the web API for, for dynamo. Uh, if let's say demo, you don't set the dynamo. Data. So unless you got your client setting, then you only need to set this kind of setting under your uh, client there. Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, I will share the, the linking uh, in the chat box. Just follow the link to login. And the password there, how to link to our server also have. Just follow the chat I share. Just copy it, then try to play around on the web store. Then for those uh, who are interested to buy this shop to go, actually we have three packages. Uh. Now we're selling like monthly subscription. The first package, we store web store only. The second price is 588 per month. Okay. For the second package, it's a web store plus buy apps. We selling is nine eight eight per month. Huh? Lastly, the whole package, the mean web store plus the buy apps, but direct we selling one eight eight eight. Huh? So this one, uh, you can refer to your bosses. Huh? all the detail. The mean individual package. What you can do? What can you do? We have a static in the notes there. So for first package and second package. For those user implement shop to go, the website, uh, they only use the, our ready template. You cannot custom make the website unless you buy the last package, 1,888. That package, you can custom make your website. So the lady template, you can choose. Uh, i show you the link. So you can have a look. Because these are our assessing merchant who are using our shop to go. i show you the link. You just go to have a look who they are using how they would work best look like okay just show the link you just go there have the looking on it then you have idea the other using our ship to go the best how it look like okay i share in the chat box this so this is a current customer who using our workshop to go you can go there have a look or for the just copy the link from the chat box this please so a boomer they ask you, okay, what the template? Just refer to this template. We have ready template. The customer need to choose either one of them only. Out of that, they will consider customizations. The chat box, the chat room there got, uh, if customer only single shop, take it uh, If the customer only single shop, no branch also use, uh, this one have to, they have to, if for the post there, the post system, the API socket have to set the host name as well uh, for the socket. Cause that one is for the order, search the port to send the order to the post then. 
So even got one, even one outlet have to set the DYNDS as well, not the not, not the local IP. That means that if you let's say just Jackie mentioned they only get one shop, but the order process they need to go to the post. I'm right. Without post, can they do the order process? That's why, although you want post, one outlet, you need to invest post. No choice, huh? This one, have, they have to set as well for this one API. This one is API for the order send the third party software get to file this uh, API. That's why here have to put the DYNDS, not the local IP. Han as one web store can link how many dynamo. One web store share one dynamo. La. Correct. Only one. Of course, uh, this web <laughs> cannot be multiple web store to one dynamo, right? If you <laughs> you will do implement this kind of the multiple store to one dynamo, it's very really hard for you to manage the item already. That's why that's why I mentioned don't set the demo link under your own dynamo. La. So they're more than always using smart one now. Uh. We already set up all the demo set for you. For those who are interested not, or not aware or do not understand, you can refer me or Fatla. Uh. They say they want to, they want to know how to set up. We will assist how to set up. So any question to ask? Because already one, one o'clock, 10, 10 minutes at least. I think all of you are already hungry here. Yeah including me. Eh? <laughs> so any question, please, or you can raise your question to email or WhatsApp to me also can, you can reply you accordingly. Okay, last, I uh, really, really appreciate uh, Fat to give a today's sharing about two and a half hour, more than that. Thank you so much, Fat. So, and then thank for all of you who uh, attend so, so long for two and a half hour section here. So thank you. See you next round. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks everyone. <clears throat>